Fairmont Regional Medical Center is a vital part of Marion County, and there's several reasons for that. One is they're one of our largest employers in Marion County, and that employment base is vital to the success of our county. Number two, they are our local community hospital, and any, any successful community has a local hospital, so it is imperative that we support Fairmont Regional Medical Center. And this chamber has been involved with the hospital for many, many years in helping lobby for some of their funding from a federal to state to local level. We have traveled to Washington, D.C. We have traveled to Charleston with a lot of their management team in, in helping them meet with our elected officials and lobby for some of their efforts. And the growth of Marion County is, is so important to the growth of Fairmont Regional Medical Center. We feel they have a wonderful management team in place and the fact that they took them through this merger successfully is a very positive sign of the future of our local hospital. I'm Mike Martin, President and CEO of FK Everest Electrical Contracting here in Fairmont, West Virginia. I'd like to congratulate Peggy and her staff for the award tonight. I met Peggy through the Fairmont General Hospital Board. In fact, I was chairman of the board when Peggy was appointed interim CEO of the hospital. I'd like to thank Peggy for all of her hard work and her staff also of bringing us through the bankruptcy proceedings and also through the sell of the hospital to Electo Healthcare Services. Peggy and her staff were instrumental in keeping the local hospital in our community. Peggy, congratulations on this honor and enjoy your evening. Hi, I'm Tona Nessel Road. I'm the past chairman of the Board of Directors of Fairmont General Hospital. In 2013, after the hospital filed for bankruptcy, we asked Peggy to take the reins of the CEO position. She graciously accepted, and I think from probably that point on, she didn't have a spare moment to herself. She and her staff had countless meetings with the board, with potential strategic partners, with staff, with lawyers, and no one wants to meet with lawyers, and she and her staff had to run the hospital and calm fears. Winston Churchill once said that it's not enough that we do our best, sometimes we're required to do more. And that's exactly what Peggy and her staff did. They did everything required of them. They worked through the bankruptcy and at the same time moved the hospital forward and they kept the hospital in this community which was very important. I want to thank Peggy and her team for all the hard work during this past year and for their dedication to the hospital and to the community and I want to congratulate them on this well-deserved honor.